Well, we begin with breaking news this morning of a deadly terror attack in the southern France city of Nice. Ian Panel joins us live with the latest on this developing story. Ian, good morning. What do we know so far? Yeah, good morning, Diane. Uh, this happened about 9 o'clock local time, as you say, in the southern French city of Nice, which is, of course, down on the coast. Uh, this was at the Notre Dame Basilica, where people were praying at the time. Uh, the attacker entered the church and stabbed a number of people, killing three. Um, we are told that the attacker was then apprehended. He apparently was injured. It's not clear whether or not armed police, who were on the scene fairly uh, quickly after the incident started, uh, whether or not they actually shot him. President Macron of France is already there paying tribute to the people who've been uh, injured and killed. But this also, of course, comes at a very tense time for France. It sure does. And Ian, any indications that this could be related to some of the other attacks that have happened in France recently? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I think it's entirely likely that it is. Um, it happens to be the Prophet Muhammad's birthday. We know that there have been a number of threats in light of the beheading that took place uh, of a French teacher. This was almost two weeks ago now in Paris who had shown the Charlie Hebdo cartoons. Uh, remember, those cartoons also led to a terrible attack in France where a number of the people who worked on the magazine were killed. The trial is currently taking place. But President Macron has got into a very vocal spat with some Muslim leaders around the world, including President Erdogan of Turkey, uh, where he said that France has a right to show these kind of cartoons. Uh, he says that Islam has a problem, and the reaction on the street and in governments around uh, the Muslim world has been one of anger. Uh, we also know there's been an incident at the French consulate in Saudi Arabia today. It appears that a guard there was uh, stabbed. So I think France is on high alert, and I think French interests around the world are also on high alert today. All right, Ian Panel for us in London. Thanks, Ian. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.